Hey all, Anirudh here. Today I will going to show you how you can upload any file from Power Apps to SharePoint library. One of my subscriber called Carl Williams, he asked this question. He also asked that in this library, that particular library where you need to upload, there will be some column. That column is let's say a complex type of column like lookup column, a people picker column, management data column, this kind of thing and how you can upload a file with the metadata from Power Apps. So doing the things, uh, I have created one library, invoice, okay. Now just a, give a quick look, what are the columns are there. You can see lookup column, choice column, date, time column, people picker column, every, everything is there. And uh, now what I need to do is, uh, I wanted to create uh, another list with the same metadata. Same metadata, same column type, everything same. I have created one list and the list name is invoice dummy list. Then in this uh, Power App, I have created one form. I refer that list. Now let me show how it is working. This is a lookup column basically. Choice column, multiple text you can provide. Now you need to upload. Okay, one file. So I'm going to submit. What I have done is I take, as you know, SharePoint list is very comfortable with uh, this. Uh, power app so whenever you upload it will automatically get uploaded here with the attachment correct so then i have trigger one flow in this flow basically item creation flow is there so then i take all the attachments then i loop through it get the content of the attachment then i have created file in the library and then i update all the uh, columns in that library mapping with the list column and then at the end I have deleted the item from the list because it is not needed anymore correct this is how it is so let me show you so this is the library automatically there now I will go here and you can see there is nothing okay it is working fine now I will show you step by step how it is happening First thing I wanted to show you if instead of uh, list if we provide any library directly in a form what will happen. Let's say this is my library if I select here what will happen. There will be no image picker or something I mean uh, attachment control is there. So you cannot select any file only metadata you can submit from here correct. That is not desirable you need to upload your file next is another thing you can do maybe let's say i'm deleting this if your attachment is always uh, image then you can use this control called add image image con i mean in that case you need not to be dependent on your sharepoint list you can just directly upload in that uh, library from power apps how you can do that you, I have created one uh, video long back so you can follow this thing you need to uh, a little bit of understanding of JSON and everything and then you can successfully upload any image file any signature or uh, any camera uh, image from uh, using this video okay but today we actually wanted to check whether Excel file or any kind of PDF you wanted to upload so how you can upload so this is one of the uh, simplest thing I, I found now let me show you if uh, how I have done that so I will create one form first correct there is nothing you just select this okay I will delete uploaded date 
uploaded why I will tell why I actually kept it so here I'll put one button this is form 5 so I will provide submit form form 5 I have done now the thing so in the title what I will do basically I will take the attachment name I will unlock take this dot attachment so there will be multiple attachments I will take the first one I'll provide the name. What does the mean is? Sorry. So whenever you select any of the file name, the file name will be automatically generated. Now I will hide this thing. Okay. Another thing I will do. I will put maximum attachment 10 uh, sorry 6 so I will put only 1 because you know you can upload in a library only one attachment I mean one file at a row so you cannot allow user to upload multiple attachment correct of course if you uh, upload multiple attachment in this scenario what will happen there will be let's say six uh, file you uploaded six file will be uploaded in the document library with the same metadata correct if you if your requirement is this you can do like this but i'm assuming you just only want to update uh, upload one file at a time okay with the metadata okay so this is the one of the thing next is i will create one flow for you First, I will turn off. I'll create the trigger will be item creation where it will create in this invoice dummy list. next is action this action will be gate attachments from where it get attachments from the same list what will be the id the id of the item creation next content get attachment content so for that matter I will select communication site get attachments so this is the identifier and what will be the ID item JSON will be the ID okay so I got the thing then create file and I will create in the communication site there will be invoice then what will be the file name file name will be the title what will be the file content whatever I'm getting from here okay file get created now you need to up, update update file properties this one so from here communication site what will be the library name invoice so this is the create file 
so I will take from there ID what will be the title title will be the same from created you can just type title when item is created that title I need it contractor ID so here add custom item click here click here here you can find item created contractor ID this one okay then department again you need to click here so for department you can put department value then comment again you need to take from comments here uploaded date I will tell you why I actually provided uploaded date I will take created date time from the this list and from here created by sorry so I will take created by email okay now I will give one good name done okay now I will select one select one I'll put something um, I'll put this file let's say item edit now let's check running item creation done attachment it got then everything is get successful so we can test here yeah everything is coming one thing I I need to tell here why I actually provided uploaded date and created by when created and created by is already there basically what will happen your flow creator whoever the creator of this flow that created by will come and when flow get run that created time will uh, appear here now let's say if another person is uploading that document in the list created by will be there because he actually directly uploading uh, updated or inserting item in this list so whoever the created by that item and the created date time I actually passed by flow in this library okay that's how it is so you can just hide this created by and created column because it is not needed from here okay that's all from today let me know if you need any help thank you